on today's episode, we get back to trucking, pulling some cement. Stick around, find out. Right, all right. Drive shaft. She got the carrier bag. Ooh, all dirty. Drive shaft complete. Back to tarpon. We're actually strapped. And uh, that's what actually moves up and down and pushes on the spring. Um, those head bolts are probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to get out. And a JD hook. Hey. Oh, that was nice of you. 19765. So that is a wrap. What do you think? You good? Every state is probably going to be different. And we are back to work. Time to get back and busy. He is getting loaded. You can see the dust coming off. And we're after him to make the turn and head back home. But it's nice to get back to work. Hope you guys all have a beautiful holiday also. And um, let's keep grinding, keep checking on the load board. We'll do that in the morning tomorrow. This video will kind of roll from tonight into tomorrow. And we'll see what, what is along the horizon of fun events and cool things or tragic things, hopefully not. And, uh, yeah, just keep rolling with it. Let's get loaded up here and then get back towards the house. She's loaded. It's dusty. Let's make the turn. That is a pretty good looking Peterbilt right there. Oh man, Mason's truck. I love that lower light right there. Nice truck, nice reefer. Pretty cool. All right, let's go refresh and get home. You need to really? do like that. Yeah. You need to do like that. He says, Dad, what goes psh? And I says, the air brakes. What happened to your uh, doors back there? You lost them? Yeah. All right, it's wide then, open. And then it broke. Oh. See, I make it boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right. Well, I gotta get back to work, but first, let's check out some loads yeah. on Truck Smart. Can I come? You wanna come? Yeah. To work? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you wanna do cement, but maybe. Okay. Well, then, on a Wednesday, the last day of May, let's see what we got going on in Truck Smarter. Completely free app. Go check it out. At least sign up for it. Get your email in there to get the updates of everything they got going on. About 1,800 loads for van, which is drive van, which is just like a box trailer. Uh, flatbed 379 and reefer 384. Reefer's like a refrigerated, like the truck right there pictured in uh, behind this um, screenshot. Okay, and then yeah, power only, only 32. Oof. Not a lot. Okay, so 1800 for van. That's about what it normally is. Uh, still lots of loads out there, just not worthwhile. So, it, and then the power only, that might be an indicator of only 32 loads at a lot of these bigger companies like JB Hunt. When freight was good, uh, they'd have a bunch of trailers they would loan out power only. So would um, Amazon, Convoy, all these different companies would have like power only trailers they needed moved. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. So digital connect logistics. So many new brokers are um, added all the time with Truck Smarter. I will talk about that later on, but let's go through these first. And also look at the fuel. That's so cool that they do that because they show you the fuel along the path of. Um, where you're going and they're going we'll talk about it more later also they just signed up with uh ambux which is pretty cool if you don't know what that is it's ambes like rewards program so 1700 all the way up to what is that missouri i think that one was yeah not i mean if you want to need to get back up there maybe it's not too bad to get to missouri um all the way to michigan for 1200 uh that uh, mahoopany mahopany i always say that wrong i've taken that load before actually and um, it was like $3,500, 26 27 sometimes, but 35 was like, was a, what I would get it for from C.H. Robinson. Now it's 1580 so a little bit. Still 227 if you need to go back up to um, PA. After fuel, you'll probably net to, I don't know, 900 maybe. Oh, Nevada, I'll take TQL. Massachusetts, Winston-Salem, that's kind of... Up there by uh, Raleigh, and that used to be twelve hundred. Now it's five or five seventy. So 
I would say used to be, but that's kind of what it needs to be to run with the way inflation is, with how much the cost of living is for the whole U.S. nowadays, and the price of fuel. So all those variables and the price of repairing your truck um, is not going down anytime soon. So trucks are a lot cheaper nowadays, but the parts are not to fix them. So that's kind of a something you got to think about. Hey, right, good Greenville past Atlanta, 550E. That's whenever I, I look at Atlanta, I look at the traffic in part of that. So unless you're going to run through the night and early delivery in the morning and then getting out of Atlanta also, just the traffic is a big thing. There's a decent little local. Um, is it the next day or is it day of? Let's scroll down and see if it's straight through, which straight through means um, we'll do 450 on this one. Um, straight through means it delivers the same day, like six, seven, eight hours after you pick it up kind of thing. So. Let's see that. Uh, yeah, it was the same day. Okay, that's good. Let's see if they come back on that. We'll go back to Convoy and check with them later. Nolan, I've ran a couple loads for them. Not, nothing lately. Um, Williamsburg is kind of... That was a good 1,800, maybe 1,500 if you needed to go there before, but now we're in the thousands, but 42,000 pounds. Yeah. So, I mean, you can still move around like those Floridas, though. Those are solar panels, everything. Zephyr Hills and Lake Wales, those are all solar panels. Heavy, heavy loads going to dirt fields, but uh, not paying enough to go into Florida and deadhead back out. Winter Haven for 1200 almost. That used to be 2500 all day. So I keep saying used to be, but that's used to be is when it made sense to run it, even with fuel. And, I mean, the economy was still, the inflation wasn't as bad as it is now, but it was still not as good as it was. Uh, I don't even know when was before. So <laughs> everything just is, is getting more expensive to live in, and uh, they're not paying as much to work as in the trucking industry. So at least for the spot market, but we'll keep looking. We'll keep running cement until maybe something changes and we can run cement to be local sometimes. And we could take some uh, other loads around out and backs to the Southeast, Northeast and Midwest, but not great right now. To Athens, there you go. That's Spartanburg, 750. Man, maybe, yeah. Put a bit on that one, see what they say. All right, but that cool thing about Truck Smarter is it brings all these apps together, and then it also is adding all these new brokers. But I really only knew the bigger ones when I started. C.H. Robinson, Coyote, of course, the TQL, the J.B. Hunt, the Convoy. Uh, but now I'm getting all these other new ones, but it's just not... There's a lot of loads they are just not paying. Like AMX, I've never heard of them until Truck Smarter, and I've ran probably 10 loads for them now. Uh, when they have, need something run, they will definitely work with you on the rate. But a 23, little, let's go for $4 a mile, because you got to figure $2 a mile maybe going in, and then deadheading $2 a mile coming out. So just double that $2 a mile if you want to go to Florida. Uh, try to stay in the 4 or $5 range because you're going to be coming out empty, at least with the drive end. The reefer market, you might have more, and sometimes during like different produce seasons and you'll have opportunities for van, but uh, you really have to go to the south of Florida to get those, I believe. Spot never ran for them, but there's something I've been seeing lately on the load board. Uh, uh, uh. Just like a lot of loads. Like For a while there, there was maybe a couple pages of loads, like a couple scrolls, maybe like four or five scrolls up. Now it just goes on forever. And this is within a 100-mile deadhead is what you call it. So if you're new to trucking or you're thinking about coming out and booking your loads, deadhead is how far you're going to have to drive to pick the load up. So how far it is from your original destination. And you'll see it says 48 miles right there for deadhead. It's a DH right there next to the price. That's how far it is away from where you're looking for the load. So I try to keep it a 100-mile radius. That gives me a pretty wide spectrum of where I live. Um, but you can go 150, 200 miles and go up into Tennessee or down into uh, like Savannah to look for some loads. But as it starts getting higher, um, I might move to the next day. And then we'll start talking about a little bit about what TruckSmarter is doing now. Um, more brokers being added and then also adding more fuel network. But yeah, King Mountain, that's kind of almost into Charlotte right there. So we're getting a little bit higher in the deadhead. Not, not too bad, but would take you an hour, hour and a half to get to the to the pickup, depending on traffic. So you got to factor that in when you're booking the load. But a lot of people are booking loads way out in advance, which really doesn't give you much bargaining power or um, just the balls in the broker's court that they know they got 
you. But okay, so that's going on to the next day. So let's talk a little bit about what they got going on. Definitely just sign up or eat, get the email because the 42 new brokers, the Ambest, uh, Ambucks is now starting. And they're trying to do more of a um, desktop friendly app because it's really been just a phone app. But that right there are the 42 new bro. Those right there are the 42 new brokers right there, all their icons that they've only added just this week. So definitely something to be worth looking at as it put in your wheelhouse for booking loads. Uh, Ambucks are just kind of like a points reward system for um, Ambest fuel sites. If you don't know what those are, they're like, they're pretty big, pretty big spectrum of um, not, not mom and pop, but the smaller networks of, of fuel stops. So check them out. And then uh, desktop uh, truck smarter is going to be something that a lot of guys like to use the laptop and have something available and truck smarter is working on that form now too. So, it's completely free. Just join. And you can also be a beta tester. It says right there, join the wait list and kind of help them feel, figure out the bugs of the desktop um, version. So check out Truck Smarter. But let's keep going. So Friday is the last day of school. The last two days are half days. We're going to go. We're going. Those are some sweet shorts, man. Yeah, we're going to the pool. Yeah, when your brothers get home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, teed up saw those on a kid at the pool. And she's like, where'd you get those? And she's looked them up, found them. But taking all the artwork down. Yeah, I did this... Um, this company that you can send all your kids artwork and they put it in little books and then they send you the artwork book. Well, that's pretty cool. Books, so. so you don't just get rid of it. But yeah, those are all the loads on Truck Smarter. Um, 42 new brokers this week. I mean, they're continuously making it better for us. And um, Ambucks is something that I don't have a lot down here. It's something I've heard of and I've used with um, Mudflat. But as you can see, Truck Smarter is so cool that when you're looking even at a load, they show you the fuel path on the way. So. A lot of good thing that help, helps you not have to, because I don't like that about the fuel cards. You'll have to like search every time. It should just like populate your most recent searches maybe. But uh, TruckSmart does that for you and they have so many new loads coming up. They have their factoring. Check them out. Get the, at least sign up for them and you'll get the emails like the, uh, I get every week. And it tells you what's new stuff they're doing. So no loads today. We'll see if that convoy fruitions, but we're going to go run another cement load. Trying to do something while uh, this market is still in the toilet. Before I get going though, I had to put the new battery in here. The other one died. So, uh, put the top yeah. on? Yeah. Well, let me see it. Let's see if it works. See if it works. Yeah. You want to turn on the remote? Yep. Turn on the remote. Go forward. Yeah. Okay. That's enough. <laughs> I forgot. Don't do no more. Turn it off. This one is all wheel drive. This little drive shaft is actually spring loaded right here. You can just take it out. <laughs> So Kason wanted to do more uh, burnout, so I took out his drive shaft, but this one's still all the drives. These are made by uh, Arma, A-A-R-R-M-A, -A -A, and these are the granites. They're pretty good. They, they take a beating, but I've had to replace one motor and like three batteries, but it's been, what, two years? I like it on. like it on? Okay, let me uh, turn it on once I put the, back, the cover back on, okay? Come on. Oh, yeah. I want that one. We're back in business the truck oh yeah someone's here what's going on baby i gotta go to work bubba it's far i take you but you have to come out of the truck with me when i um get my paperwork and uh you can't be in a truck while they're loading it okay you'd be good for mama you go to the pool okay all right go play your burnout car okay. i love you you wave, you wave bye bye yeah. right okay Oh yeah. And the reason I'm driving my truck is the reason Gigi Van's here. Um, I love you, Baba. I'll be back in a little bit, okay? Um, is the okay? I'll hop the horn. <laughs> it's because uh, it's leaking at like the um, cool of the uh, oil filter housing where the oil filter screws in. That little cap they have on Toyotas. It's leaking at the bolts that are holding that up to the bottom of the block. So I don't know if that goes bad, if that has cooling going through it. I didn't think there was an oil cooler right there. Maybe there is. Maybe the oil cooler is uh, leaking. So I just did her water pump for her. But after that, now this is leaking. So she's like, hey, my my um, car keeps being low on cooling. I'm like, do you see a puddle anywhere? <laughs> she's like, no. So I bring it to my house. I fill the coolant. I turn it on. There's a big old puddle underneath it. I'm like, all right. I jacked it up and looked at it and it was coming from the oil uh, filter housing. So let me know in the comments, any of you guys have had that happen. If you <clears throat> know on the 3.5 Toyota V6, if 
there is an oil cooler right there in that oil filter housing, which there probably is. I don't know if you've ever done it, but I've never done one of those. Oh yeah, gonna be a good day for the pool. Getting a little warmer. Let's go get another load in. There's the two sleeping beauties. Last night, um, right over there, you see a lot of stance cars, I would call them, like um, imports that are, tires are kind of bowed out, and they, but they have really cool body kits. There's a pink one over there. Anyways, um, last night, there was a right-hand drive uh, R34, like a GTR. So that was sitting right there on this side of the fence, where they usually are. And uh, the police, when I, when I left, it was just sitting there. When I came back, they, whoever lives at this little blue house, the little uh, SUV, they like parked it behind it because it's, it's a high dollar car for especially right hand drive <clears throat> had a cool body kit it was purple but uh the police were over here just checking it out they didn't no call no nothing they were just like man it's a nice car it's like it's a rare car for sure so cool cool to see that but now it's gone but let's pre-trip these guys i fired that one up last night just to get it keep it going and uh the charge air cooler we are waiting for that and then charge air pipes that's our next thing and then I think I'm pretty much going to wait for insurance to be renewed and I'll just renew with that one instead of this one depending on where the market's at if the market changes hopefully it does something where we it makes sense to have the dry van still and the W9 and that as just for cement that's the, the goal but good old insurance will charge you twice as much if you have two trucks it doesn't make sense but I get why they do it okay let's free trip fire up It says 74 degrees out there, but oh, it don't feel like it. <laughs> it feels chilly. Not too bad, but oh, a little bit. All right, let's get through Columbia. It's about lunchtime right now, and uh, hoping for the best and hope for no traffic. Please, guys, yeah, let's go. Gonna stop at exit 54, get some more fuel. Uh, I think it's 349 still. About 26 cents more than the fuel card. It's the best price on a fuel card. Uh, but I just trust the QT fuel. I will pay 20 cents more per gallon not to have my filter gunk up. My filter is actually getting cleaner. Like it used to be at like um, two to three, and now it's down to one. So I just I think every truck stop should probably have a filter system for it coming out of the ground, coming out of the pumps. Because a lot of you guys, thank you for the comments. You say, well, it all comes from the same spot. It does, but some of the older tanks can have the algae in them. And uh, if they're, especially if they've just been filled or they're really low, it'll be more prevalent, it'll be floating more. So well, that's definitely, I think, what our problem was, but QT has filtered diesel. And these are all pretty new stops, so. Oh, turn the jakes off. Uh, we're gonna continue to do that. I hate this entrance. I wish they just would've left that concrete out of there because you have to run over the concrete to get in here. Especially if there's someone right there. So we'll do this. Look at that. oversized. What's he pulling? What's uh, Prismy... Prismian? Prismian Gold? Prismian Group. Who knows what that is? Maybe there's a bunch of wire on there on the reel. I don't know. Can't see it. It's been covered. Watson Truckhead. That thing is probably heavy, though. Whatever it is. Yeah, okay, okay. Nice orange W9 there, the Schneider special. Somebody's filling up their RV tires. There's a couple flatbeds, a shorty container. All right. And I'm looking for uh, the charge air cooler. I've been looking on eBay, it's about $450, but uh, guys at the shop said try out 1 800 radiator. I said, okay, give them a ring. <clears throat> Let's check out how much they cost um, compared to what I was seeing on uh, good old eBay's. Alright, let's get some fuel and refresh. Way station was closed, but looks like they've got a sawdust uh, trailer in there they're checking on. Yeah, I'm just making the rounds. Somebody else is in there too. Come over, man, I got you. I'm getting over. There you go. Roll on. Okay. One more way station. Let's get through Columbia. Hopefully with no, uh, no delays. And the Holly Hill, the way station is closed. I think it might be just closed temporarily because they definitely got people working. Uh, I don't know if the guys on the they're mowing. Okay, maybe they're, I don't know. Maybe why they mow, they do not pull trucks through. I don't know. We keep going, next exit is our 
exit and uh, we get loaded up. We only have two in front of us today. We got scale 10 on the orange uh, kind of flat top is full All right, let's get it filled, get it closed. Okay, she's sealed up, it's in full, let's go. Well, we were smooth sailing until Columbia. Oh gosh. 4.30, people getting off work. So yeah, it's expected, but I didn't think it was gonna be a dead stop like this. Uh, I don't know, we'll see though. And we are back on 385. Just a little bit of traffic through Columbia, not too bad. Um, coming in, or coming in through it, uh, just traffic for no, no accident, no, uh, like that so beautiful sun out there 77 degrees we have about 20 miles left and we'll be able to drop this one um, there's no other empty trailers so they have to be pumped off is what it's called like so I deliver here to the yard and they take them to the different distri distribution points that which are about five of them that they need the cement for so um, there's no empty trailers right now they're getting pumped off so we'll go again tomorrow morning um, our babysitter's graduation tonight. We might go to say hi and drop in there, make an appearance. Uh, the boys only have two half days of school left, so tomorrow and Friday, just half days. So they're almost out for the summer. Can't believe it. That's crazy. I have a kindergartner and a first grader. Next year I'll have a first grader, second grader, and one in the in the batter's box waiting to go the next year. So. <laughs> Life is going quick, but um, we'll probably get out the lake this weekend also, weather permitting. I hope it's warm. And it's kind of crazy. We're going into June tomorrow, and uh, we're still in the 60s at night, so I think it's just a little cold front coming through here, and we'll see if we get back to the high temps um, coming up, but yeah. Let's go finish up this load, get back to the house, see the boys before they go to bed, and then get rested for tomorrow and get some more work in. Ava. Hey. Ava, Ava graduated. Isn't that cool? Okay, well, Ava graduated. What are you, 16 graduating early? 16 graduating a whole year. Congratulations. What's more uh, better than I was in high school? But, uh, good job. Congrats, Ava. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dog pile. Uh, okay. Well, Ava, congratulations. Thanks for having us over. It was a good time. Okay, we made it back. Not a very eventful day, which is pretty much a good thing. Help you. Oh, you gotta get down? It is beautiful sunset. sunset. Yes. Did you have fun seeing Ava graduate high school? Oh my goodness. The balloon's gonna go away. Alrighty. Well, on to tomorrow. Let's pray for another uneventful day. And uh, yeah. What do you got, flowers? I'm just oh, <laughs> flowers, flowers. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to work tomorrow. Congratulations, we Ava. We did fireworks this weekend, remember? Did some mortars off the dock. All right. God bless you guys, and we will. See you on the next one. Bye-bye, guys.